Hey everybody, welcome back to John VHRC. Look what we have today. It's the awesome FMS 1400mm Pitts V2. 6S powered airplane. Uh, it's big, two wings, so it's going to seem even bigger than what it is. Even though it's not small, but you know what I mean. That extra wing just adds a little more to it. I'll show you what's going on on the box here. Nothing on the ends. Um, Inch info, what you're going to see in the box. Another sweet flight shot. Yeah. So, let's get this baby out and get her built. It just came today. Here you can see how it's packaged. I have not even looked in here yet. There was a really big footprint on the cardboard box it came in, but it looks like everything did okay. So, maybe someone was just playing parkour on it or something, but it worked out. So here is how it's packaged. You can see right on top you've got wings. Everything's cradled pretty well in foam. Get this tape cut here so we can start peeling back the layers of this awesome airplane. In the background I've got my IX radio ready. Gonna need a receiver. Got a 6S battery on the charger. I'm gonna knock this baby out. I'm excited. The weather's decent, so hopefully we're gonna be able to get out and fly it tonight yet. Get a little GB out here. Quite the packaging, huh? I'm kind of impressed how this all locks in. Kind of tricky to get apart. Oh, we didn't cut some tape. That would help, huh? Good, good. And one of the four wing panels. <sighs> Looks like it came in perfect condition. Gotta like all the linkages and stuff is installed. That's how we like it. Keep it simple. Back corner here, we've got a big old spinner. So another wing panel, another servo, very good. I need a bigger table, y'all. Good. Get this out of the way, nothing in there. So this will probably be a lower wing panel would be my guess. So on this one here, it must join to the top. See, you've got no servo on this one, so as always, work the surfaces, free them up. I love the kind of fake ribs uh, detail they got in there, that's just awesome. It's like the real one, obviously. Yeah, a little stiff, you want to work them free. You don't want those servos to have to work any harder than they have to. A good looking scheme on there. Nice and bright. Okay, that's it on this layer. Let's move on down to the next where the big boy is. What did I miss here? Nope, one in the middle. There we go. Okay, lots more goodies. That is quite the pack job, I'm not gonna lie. They got her fit right in there. She got a big old propeller. Good size airplane needs a good size propeller. What's it say here? 15 by 9. On the top here is your landing gear. Got a little tape on it. Okay, quite the deal. I know this screws into the fuselage and such. Back here, got the horizontal. Move that, free those up. A 
obviously the rudder looks good get that nice and free that one moves nice and easy that's good down here in the hole we've got a manual and you've got some struts Up here we've got some bits and bolts and screws and extensions and stuff. What else we got here? Oh, right here. I'm going to guess these are for the upper to lower aileron connections. Then the only thing left is this bad boy right here. Oh yeah, look at that. One thing you gotta love about these birds is they're stocky. If you guys have ever ridden in one of these, um, I've rode in a Christian Eagle and it was quite the ride, I'm not gonna lie. I'll never forget doing aerobatics in a Christian Eagle. All right, let me get the stand out here and we'll get to building. All right, so the first thing in the manual is it wants you to do the landing gear, which I'm down with that, so I'm going to flip it over to the underside here, see if it'll stay in my stand pretty well. But So what you're going to do is you're going to take the M3 nuts and they're going to fit into here and into here, and just basically push them into there, like so, all four. Then we're going to put the landing gear in place with some pieces and then screw it down. Okay, now that I have those in place. You're going to take your landing gear, obviously it's going to fit down into that channel, and then these slots in the struts are going to fit around where these bolt pieces are. Like so. And then you're going to need this piece, and that's going to go down into here where the landing gear goes. You'll see it's at a little bit of an angle. So it, it does have a certain way to go, and boom, we'll put the screws in here, and the screws go in these, and landing gear is secure. Okay, here's the completed assembly. Let's see where the screws go in the back and the front. It's on there. Now she can sit on her wheels. Yay! All right, good deal. On to the next step. Okay, next thing it shows to do is the wings. So you're gonna need a carbon spar. Obviously he's gonna go through the center here. Then you're gonna need your two wing panels and a couple of three by 10 millimeter screws. So on these, the servo wires are shoved into the spar tube. So we'll take that off, fit that on, and then slide the servo extensions into the fuselage. Great. Repeat the process for the other side. Okay. Now we'll screw the, the screws in and we're done with that. It's going to take these tiny little I believe it's a two millimeter head screw. My T handle out two mil, and put them into here. All right, that's the last one of those. Next step is putting the horizontal on, which it shows having the airplane right side up. So we'll put the cruising stand down, put this bad boy over, and install the elevator. All right. So we've got the elevator, got it freed up pretty well, been working it pretty good. It's just simply going to drop onto these screw heads here. There it goes. Then you're going to install your little bolts with your two millimeter, two millimeter wrench and tighten it down. OK, 
Okay, elevator installed. Now for the rudder. It just pretty much slides into place. So, I'm going to install the rudder. You can see here on the back, the tail wheel has a little pointy. So that needs to go into the rudder as you insert it so that you've got your steering, right? So, the rest will just, it's got this little mechanism where it'll just key in and the other piece will go in there. Then it'll take one screw for that up there. Okay, and we'll drop our screw into the front here and tighten it down. To finish the rest of the tail stuff here, so here's going to be your little struts that go in through here, right? I uh, have to figure out which ones fit where yet, but there we go, like such. But anyways, first you're going to put the connections on the servos. So it shows the, so for the rudder, it shows it one hole in from the top. Like such. I'm not going to connect it till I bind up the radio and see where center is because if that's centered it's it's a little bit off so we'll do that later and then for the elevator it appears to be the same thing one hole in from the end I know you can't see it but see that one looks like it has that one has a little bit of down so we'll finish that off once we connect um, the radio, but these cool looking little struts just kind of click in here. This one gets the other one. Here we go. Snap into place and look cool. Bam! Alright, good. Done. Moving on to the wing struts and the top wing. Alright, so for these connections what I did is I just put the servo straight up and down and then I adjusted them so the surface was straight and put them on. Starting to look like an airplane. It goes really fast, guys. So let's take your struts and they're going to lock in. So they just kind of key down into these slots and slide back. Next, put the wings together with a spar and drop it into place and then we'll put these two plastic little pieces here in the center and screw it on. So the struts will be the same deal into the wing, They'll have to, the wing will have to slide into them. Okay, got that one. Got that one. Good. Easy. Now your plates will go over these. And then you'll bolt them down with the little screws. Great, wing is on. Now, final thing is put your connections between the upper and lower ailerons. Okay, the struts are on. My tip to these is to test fit them. You know, get the bottom one level and then get the top one connected and see how it looks. And then if you gotta adjust it, don't just grab one end and twist it. Take it off or hold this other end really good because um, these are plastic. You don't wanna put a lot of side force on them. So, Hold this solid, turn it, test fit till you get her good. All right, so we got the hatch off. Comes off pretty easy. Nice big hatch. You got a massive battery area in there you can do, play with. Um, so the battery is on a tray. You can see I got my Smart 6S5000 in here. This slides right in and clicks. Um, I got it bound up to a receiver, 
Uh, you'll take the supplied Y and hook it to the aileron wires. And yeah, everything was going the right way. I didn't have to, re or, well, I'm gonna have to reverse the ailerons. Everything else was going the right way. There we go. Always double check, right? So, now that that's all done, we can set up the throws and check the CG. Um, for the CG, it's 155 to 165 behind the leading edge of this wing, which puts it pretty far back there, but it's going to be between the two wings, right? And uh, set up the throws. Uh, there's a high rate, low rate in the manual. I'm going to set it up by the book, and we're going to go fly it just like that here pretty soon. So we'll let you know how it goes. Okay, got all the throws and stuff done. So to check the CG, we've got to get the rest of the equipment on. So the next step is going to be putting a propeller on the front. So to do that, you've got to get a bigger table in the future. But you're going to need your prop. You're going to need your spinner. I already took the nut off of there. There's a washer. So, oops. Nope, you gotta do your back plate first. Which keys into the hex there. Then you're gonna do your propeller. Washer. Tighten that. Tighten that down. I say I don't have a tool here. So you're gonna tighten that down. Put your spinner on and then put your screw in, tighten it down, you'll be done. That's it. Good, got that snug. Awesome, looks great. Now, check the CG, I put some marks underneath there. Let's see if I can find them here. There they are, way back there. Okay, with that battery centered on the tray, it's quite a bit nose heavy. So we're gonna slide that battery a little farther back and we're gonna call it good. So I'm gonna get a hold of GB, head to the field, and let's get this bad boy in the skies. An inverted Baker Pass.